That's how important this conversation is. If these are the marks of someone who is a genuine Christian and these marks are not here, this is very, very critical. This is a heaven or hell situation. This is a righteous or damned situation. This is a Christian or not situation. This tells a story that you cannot escape. When you hold the scripture up to your life, it becomes a mirror. It shows you what's really there and who you really are. And this is a good thing because then we know where to work out from there. This is the litmus test for whether you are a true believer. Now, I, have a, I, I expressed this in pre-service prayer to the group that was with us. I have a burden that's just been placed on me, I believe by the Holy Spirit, to just... It's not my job to make sure people are saved, but it is my job to proclaim the gospel and make sure people understand what the scriptures say about true Christianity. I think there's a lot of people deceived in thinking that they are Christians when they're not because they, they prayed a prayer or they, they went to a Bible camp or they went to Sunday school or their dad's a pastor or their, their family identifies with Christianity. They think by virtue they're automatically Christians. And I think a lot of people are deceived and I don't want them walking into eternity being deceived. Some of you might say, Josh, I'm a Christian. I'm here, aren't I? Uh, I'm here all the time. Well, uh, that doesn't mean a thing. Pews and chairs in the, the global church are filled up every Sunday with people that have a form of religion but lack the power of godliness. <coughs> 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 5, having the appearance of godliness, but denying its power. Avoid such people. What does that mean? Trying to look like God or looking like God externally, doing the religious things, but missing the power. Now, our, our hyper-charismatic individuals would say, oh, that's the, that's the power of the Spirit. No, it's the power of transformation. The power of God to change a heart and a life in a mere fraction of a moment. Again, this is divine. It's supernatural. It's one of the greatest miracles of all time. So what does this thesis statement, verse 26 and 27, have to show us? Well, essentially, the essence of true faith is bound up in the way a person lives. True faith is displayed in works, and it consumes the way someone behaves. Now, that doesn't mean we're saved by works. By no means, that is a false teaching. We're saved by faith, but true, genuine faith manifests and shows up in our life in works. Genuine saving faith changes the will of a human being. Instead of sin being the thing that they're captive to and the thing that they pursue, it is now becomes the thing that people hate. You show me a person that doesn't hate sin, I'll show you a person that isn't saved. Now, that doesn't mean that sin doesn't lose its allure. It doesn't mean that it does not present us with benefits that entice the flesh all the time. And of course, we will be tripped up by our own desire for these things that remain in existence in our flesh. But now, where at one time the flesh ruled over us, now we are at war with it. What it does mean is that when I do get tripped up, when I do get confronted with sin, when I do have that conviction, what it means now is when before, when I would just continue diving deeper into it, what it means now is that I turn to Christ to resolve the war within me, the war between the flesh and the spirit, the war between what I know leads to death and what I know leads to life. And depend upon him to not just forgive me and show me grace, but also to help guide me to the things that bring life. When a person is saved and regenerated by the Holy Spirit, it's unmistakable. You cannot fake it. You cannot hide it. Sure, a person can seem like a good person, a good moral person, like a Christian on the outside that can do all of the Christian things. But overall, if you really examine the scriptures, a person can't fake this sort of thing without a true trans uh, a power of transformation in their heart. They can't fake it. <clears throat> 